Howdy y'all, it's Russell back with Gwinnett Lawns in beautiful, look at that sky, Atlanta, Georgia. It is Sunday, July 26th, 2020, and I'm making this video in my backyard because it's shady back here. I was doing another video in the box truck and it was just too hot. It's like 140 degrees in that thing. So today's video is what we have found that will replace the blade edger. So I'm a huge fan of the blade edger. With this really, really, really uh, thick southern Bermuda we have, we have to edge every single time we service the lawn, whether it's weekly or bi-weekly. And the blade edger works great. No complaints at it. Uh, well, I do have one complaint. When the soil is moist, um, Inevitably, it's going to kick up, kick up some dirt, whether it's on the sidewalk or the driveway or the curb. And what happens is when we're using the blade edger, we always use that first, then we mow, then we trim, then we blow. Well, the tires of the mower will grind the dirt into the concrete, which ne necessitates the use of the trimmer to try to get it off um, when you're it's just a debacle, especially when it's really, especially when it's really moist. So uh, that's the only complaint. The blade leaves a wonderful edge, and I never thought I would find something that would leave as good an edge to that. So as I was doing a little research, I, um, I guess, am late to the game. I had not really paid any attention, or I had heard of the Edge It Pro, hadn't paid that much attention to it. I was like, eh, it's not for me. So I'm like, well, let me try it because the reason I wanted to try it is if we could eliminate going back to the truck once, okay, so uh, if we eliminate one of those steps, it's going to save time on every single lawn that we do. Plus, you can use it for multiple jobs. Now, the blade edger I was using was the 2620T PAS system, so I had the blade edger attachment, and we just left it on that, and that's what we used. Again, no complaints. So I got the Edget Pro, I put it on the 2620T. I liked it, I uh, used it for a month or so and it was good, it was good. It left an edge that was equal to, not better, but equal to what a blade edger would do. If it was really, really super overgrown or never had been done before, the blade edger was probably a little faster uh, I think you still have to, we still had to do a little touch up, but on our maintained lawns, no problem whatsoever. It was faster. It did eliminate a trip back to the truck. Plus, when the guy, whoever's do, using the edge, it when you're done, you can start string trimming, and it just made the whole process more efficient. So I was thinking, you know, we're trying we we're trying to find a really good line for us, string line. And I have watched tons and tons of videos and people say, well, this is the best line, that's the best line. So I, I usually try it and see for myself. You know, just because a line works for you, where you are, you may have completely different grass type. Bermuda is very, um, it's extremely thick. And since we cut it low, whereas a fescue, you may cut it four, four and a half inches, depending on the area, Kentucky bluegrass, stuff like that. Um, the grass is not as dense uh, together as uh, fescue or zoysia. And to a lesser extent, St. Augustine and centipede. But fescue and zoysia, probably zoysia being the worst as far as density. And being able to cut and not leave, you know, because those two grasses will show if you are not level with your mower or your string trimmer, it will show it up. Whereas you can get away with some variances in your, and how level you're holding the string trimmer with the uh, other grasses. So I started doing some research and I'm like, wait a minute, will a speed feed 450 head fit on the 2620T? Which it will. So what I'm getting ready to show you is the setup that we're using that produces can I say better edge than a blade? Equally as, equally as good 
perhaps may be better, but there's one caveat to that. So, here is what we've got. Now this 2620T has 89.7 hours, flawless. And just so you know, look at that exhaust, perfectly clean. This thing starts pretty much the first pull every time. I've got the Edget Pro on here, and the Speed Feed 450 head, and I've got a 3 8 bolt in here. This head will pretty much last, or this cap will pretty much last forever. Ha, huh, what is this? That is 0 .130. 0 0.95, okay, so the main purpose of this is to edge the area between the concrete and the grass, wherever it is. I don't care what kind of .095 line you're using, it's not going to last very long. And I'm going to, when we do the line review video, I'm going to tell you which lines actually I would use in here and which lines I wouldn't. Some of them are absolutely horrible because I just can't handle the concrete. This stuff right here, oh my goodness, I'm telling you, this is like throwing around a chain mail. At half throttle, I can cut an absolutely beautiful line here. Most of the customer's properties, I can, if it's this long, when I get done, it's still this long. This stuff, and I'm not going to tell you what line this is yet, okay? I'm just not. I've got a couple of them I'm going to test, and then I will tell you what's good and what's not good. But what I will tell you is that this Speed Feed 450 head said it will fit 0 .130, and it didn't. I had to take this apart and run a drill bit very slightly through the, the core, and then it fits perfect, just like if it was 095. Uh, this will only hold about uh, 13 and a half feet of the 130 line in here. But I'm going to tell you guys, I'm going to tell you that... If you are contemplating trying to become more efficient on your service truck and you want something that is really, 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 really good for edging, you can't beat that. In fact, we've been using this probably for at least three months and we've picked up the blade edger twice. Once because we both needed to be edging at the same time and I only had one of these going and two... <sighs> Um, it was like a week and a half ago. This wouldn't, it died. It just died and wouldn't start. Well, it ended up being the plug. Replace the plug is perfectly fine. So I got like 85 hours out of the first plug. But anyway, yeah, nobody wants to grab the blade edger because this produces double duty. Okay, I can do this, and as soon as I'm done that uh, edging, then I can go string trim. And contrary to what you may be thinking, Using a line that big produces wonderful results on this Bermuda. The only thing is, you have to be careful with your speed. I only need to use about half throttle with this, and it cuts perfectly fine. Uh, whereas like on the 2320T, I may go three-quarter throttle, this, half throttle. Um, most of it is because of the string. Okay, If I was using 095 or 105 line, which we have tested both of them, uh, you're going to have to use near probably three quarters throttle, but produces wonderful results. Now be careful if you're up against vinyl siding, and I'm going to show you. This is my own house, and no, I did not do this. But this is what can happen when somebody's not careful with the string. It'll, it'll poke a hole in it. No, I didn't do that. Whoever owned this house before didn't know how to string trim. So that is basically what has replaced the blade edger. Now, economically, it's a lot better because I'm not replacing blades. I'm having to buy blades and strings a lot cheaper than blades is a lot faster. So I, there's no downside to it whatsoever that I've seen. Um, yeah, there's no downside. So the only time I would use the blade edger right now is if this didn't start. That's it. 
or if we both had to edge at the same time for the property was huge or something so yeah um, very very pleased with this setup if you haven't tried the edge it pro i highly recommend i bought that with my own money i have two of them uh, the other one is going to go on probably the the 2320t or i want to get a echo 3020t which is even makes that one look like a sissy um, but anyway i highly recommend you get that and if you have a 2620t or higher or something to the equivalent you can put the speed feed 450 head i would not try to put the 450 head on the on the 2320t it's just too big it's too much mass it's not necessary uh, that'll have to i've won I've, i have run one 0095 and 105 line in the in the 2320t and both work fine so yep yeah, that's i'm very excited i'm going to continue to use this that trimmer right there zero issues whatsoever after 87 hours they're phenomenal i love those trimmers the only thing i don't like about it the only thing is it's a little heavy uh, it can be tiring it can be tiring holding it if you're holding it for a long time i had to weed eat a really big hillside and it gets heavy but other than that man that trimmer is awesome and yeah so if you're looking for if you're looking for something to become more efficient save a step you know try it what do you have to lose i'm highly highly recommend the the uh, edge pro and if you're going to use a 450 head then wait for my review on the trimmer lines because there's there are a couple of lines that not too far under that line okay that's all i'll say about that for right now but we, we're testing a lot of lines so anyway thank you very much for watching the video i appreciate your time please subscribe if you haven't do if you have not done so if you have a similar setup to this or if you have a setup that um, maybe we haven't thought of put it down in the comments we'll discuss it and hopefully it'll help everybody and i will see you on the next video